welcome back everyone and this is going to be the my name oh sorry I always forget to introduce myself I don't know what it is about this anyways my name is Lori I'm also known as the crafty lady and this is an unboxing video for the uh, Cora Crea crafts monthly vintage craft supplies so if you have any questions while I'm unboxing this, please put those questions in the chat. Otherwise, uh, you can also put them in the YouTube questions uh, when I have this posted there. So I do a lot of uh, crafts and junk journals is one that I got into a little while ago and I'm loving it. I love paper and scissors and glue and, and putting things together and making them pretty. Um, the vintage look is just so appealing this is a monthly subscription box that i've purchased myself the opinions expressed in this while i unbox this are mine alone i have not been asked by the creator to post these i have not been asked for by for her opinion and i've not been reimbursed in any way all of the boxes that i've bought are out of my own pocket so this is mine and mine alone so with that, um, these videos are also not made for children. And so I'm trying to keep the chat and the commentary, everything PG-13. So I would appreciate it if you would do the same. Uh, with that, if you have any questions, just scream it out in the chat and let's get into this one. So Cora Crea Crafts is a monthly vintage subscription box. It has stickers and washi tape and occasionally it has the um, what are they wax seal stamps and tissue and pages that you can use in your junk journals and bullet journals and paper crafting of all sorts and one of the things I love that I'm noticing so far so this is the fourth one I've opened this is the April 2022 um, I've been holding these because I wanted to be able to open them online whether I did it on YouTube videos or uh, Twitch streaming but I'm noticing this is the fourth one the tissue paper is different in every single month it is so cool I'm used to the tissue being the same every month from the other place but so here we go this is Cora Crea Crafts she has Instagram Facebook Pinterest um, and she has a YouTube channel as well so seriously check out her YouTube channel some of the um, boxes that she opens and some of the projects that they put together there are are wonderful to watch so this is the botanical box um the may box next theme is art deco art nouveau so that's going to be the may one that'll be interesting art deco is not my thing typically so as in the march one was the the roman one which wasn't really my thing but there are there were a lot of unique items in there that will come in handy so this is botanical this is usually my niche this is what i like love the most so let's see what we have here all right out of the way <gasps> we have another little velvet box little bag okay those are always nice because you know i'm gonna leave it to the end because you know i i kind of know what's in there but i want it to be a surprise <laughs> yes as we you see the same thing i do so it's like okay here we go all right we have a beautiful little garden gate wooden stamp block stamp oh oh okay i'm getting ahead of myself here <laughs> i'm getting excited this is one i knew i would like just because it's got botanicals i like botanicals all right so let's check our wooden box our wooden block stamp and let's stamp see if we can get enough ink on this and let's see what the impression is on this i don't want to wait till the end anymore i just want to do it now and I want to craft and spend hours crafting because you know what that's my escape I have a very logical systematic job during the day and crafting is the the time when I get to use my creative side of my brain Ooh, this one's pretty I really like that one so I didn't Im impress it 
perfectly. The paper is wrinkled too, so it won't give us the perfect impression, but even that is really, really pretty. And look, you can even see, it almost looks like a little gear up at the top. I know it's supposed to be the, um, it's supposed to be like an opening in, in the gate, but it almost looks like a gear. So it's got a little bit of a steampunk feel. So that one is pretty. Let me just get my alcohol as with any, if you need to clean off and alcohol like stays on, sorry. The ink that I'm using for this is Jet Black Stays On. It is a permanent ink. So if you're using a permanent ink, it will not come off with water. It's not water-based like the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Inks. So use a little bit of alcohol and you can get the majority of the ink off. Eventually it will stain and, and that's just a given. It just shows that your, your craft supplies are well loved, well used and well loved. So beautiful little stamp. I really like that one, but you know, it's garden-y, it's, it's pretty. So of course I like it. All right, get this out of the way. And yes, imperfectly stamped is, is really nice. Um, it, it adds interest, like, not everything needs to be perfect. It, it's kind of boring when it is perfect. So this gives you a little bit of, um, I don't know, intrigue. Um, but at the same time, you could color this. You could get uh, your your watercolors and do a nice little, you know, multicolored wash over that just to add some more interest. You could take pencil crayons to that and, and give it some color. You can do anything with a lot of these uh, stamps. Um, they don't have to stay black. You could, I could use a different um, stamp color and do it in blue or whatever. So don't think you have to stick with black or leave the stamp as is. You can color these in, in any way that you want in order to, in order to make you happy. Because that's what this is about. Crafting makes us happy because we like creating and that's, that's all there is to it, you know, as far as I'm concerned. I get to use my creative side of my brain when I do this and when I do any crafting. And that is a really nice, oh, I don't even want to, look, he's so cute. Okay, sorry, it's, it's like I have squirrel brain. All of a sudden I see an image and it's like, oh. It says Scorm Sparrow. He's so cute. I want to see if I can save that. Can I, can I, can I, can I, please, please? Oh, crap. Okay, come on, come on. Ooh, I got most of them. Okay, okay, we can do this. <gasps> yes! Look at how nice he is, see? This is why we save stickers. <laughs> All right, Oh, Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna stick him there. So he's saved. I'll be able to use him on a pocket or an envelope or one of the pages in the junk journal that I'm making. So he's cute. I wonder if he his image is somewhere else in the stuff. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If she used an image to get the washi tape stuck. Now it's stuck to my hands. It's stuck to my thumb. All right, off, off, off with you. All right, let's get this. But that sparrow is cool. But yeah, I was thinking if that if that image is somewhere in here, that would be awesome because you know then you're incorporating what you're giving to your clients. Look how thick this roll is. Yes, I I'm like squirrel. You know, I my brain jumps from one thing to another. Okay, Esme, we have more script on here. Oh, you're gonna like this. Okay. Oh, so we have all kinds of botanicals. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get, give me one second. I am going to grab a sheet of paper because I want something white so you can see what these look like. This is, and how many are we going to get? Whoa, there's a lot. Whoa. Okay. Holy. Okay. So it, um, duh. there's a lot of images here. Holy crap. Okay, so let's get these ones down here. And I want to, well, I don't know. Will that tear? Come on, come on, come on, tear. 
Mm, good enough. Okay, so this way you can see pretty much all the images that are available on this washi tape. All right, makes it a little easier to see when they're on a white background. So here we go. We have a lot of botanical plants, a lot of script, uh, not anything I can read. It's in a different language, not even French. Um, but you can cut these or you could cut it out. Can you imagine? Oh, you could do this. You could cut, you know, this hexagon shape and cut that out and put that on a pocket or a page, the corner of a page. But these are just all gorgeous. And even just having a strip of these on the edge of a page would be cool too. So you have a lot of very interesting images and script to add some interest to your junk journal pages. I know, I love it too. That's awesome, that's right up my alley. Okay, so we have that one. Um, again, like I said, these washi tapes um, are, are so thick. There's so much here. I, I, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to use that. that that's a lot of washi tape. Okay, so that's that one. This one, this one is really, here we go with flowers. And it has, you know, it's got a good amount on here. Oh, this, this is one of the ones, hold on. Am I right? Am I right? Am I thinking? Um, yeah, these are stickers. Okay, so it's a roll of stickers. Let me see if I can get this without destroying any of them. Not always the easiest thing. Okay, there we go. Ooh, no, don't take that one with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh. Okay, well, you're getting destroyed. All right. It's okay. Just, just, oh, don't do that one too. Crackers. Okay, there we go. Good enough. All right, so here we have all kinds of stickers. And look, you can even write on these ones. And and on that one, so we've got all kinds of florals. Mon Jardin Botanique. So, my botanical garden. <laughs> I can read enough French to know that. And there's a four, there are a two and a from. And then it continues, so there's where it starts to repeat again. So you've got three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14 different stickers. Oval stickers that you can use. Those are so pretty. Yep. Definitely worthwhile. There's a lot here. Those are awesome. Okay, um, in chat, just let me know if there's any issues, 14, your lucky number. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty. Are you having any um, issues with the focus? Is the autofocus a, a problem or is it okay? Can you let me know? Because I'm trying to, you know, make sure I'm not giving people headaches or making them dizzy. All right, so then look at this. We look at the, oh my Lord. Okay, so it's got like, like is it real leather or faux leather? Either way, it's got a beautiful little band on this. How cool is that? Okay, it's okay for the most part. It struggles with the close up sometimes, but it sorts itself out. Okay, good, good to know, thank you. I can, I can take the autofocus off if that becomes a problem. Um, so we have uh, a whole bunch, they're, they're attached, but it's like tickets, really cool tickets. And they've got, there's a few, are they different? Yep. Yeah. So we've got some with this leaf pattern. Uh, let's try and not glare you with the gold, but it, it's got the, the nice gold foil on it. So we've got some with this leaf pattern and then we've got some with this flower, like a daisy pattern, which is really nice. And then, wow, and then this one, I don't know what type of flower that is, but, oh, and then there's a few more. And there's this one. 
Yeah, the foiling is really cool. The leather wrap is amazing. Oh, and then Lily of the Valley. So that one I know. And I think that's it. So you've got about, I think, six. Oh, there's another one. So there's about six different types in here of, of flowers on, on the background page. But the there's a lot in here. There's probably 50 sheets. I love the color of them too. But yeah, the the leather or the faux leather um, band, that is so cool. That is a neat little add-on. So you could do that in, in one of your books. You could, you know, make one of those as well. That's a great idea to give you inspiration into um, how to put a wrap around one of your junk journals. You could do that yourself um, with some fake leather or even some fabric. So that's awesome. Okay, so we have that. You are being saved to the end. Oh, oh, okay. Is white gonna, yeah, white's not gonna help. Um, oh, I got brown. Okay, so we have several. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got several acetate sheets. I don't, I don't think they're stickers. They might be. I don't know if you want me to fuss with these to see if there's a sticker. To see if it is a sticker. But anyways, the patterns are amazing. Look at this. I don't know. Check for glare. Okay. Ooh. So there, we have that one. And we have this one. And that one. So there we go. And then we got this one. And this one. <laughs> I don't even know what count I'm up to. And this one. They're gorgeous. I love them with, with just that. They feel thick enough that they might be a sticker. Oh, they are. Oh, oh my God. Look, 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 look. Oh, crap. Lost it. So they are stickers. So it's clear on the back, but there, it is a sticker. These are awesome. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six of those sticker sheets, acetate sticker sheets. They're just, they're lovely. Those, those are really, really cool. Oh, the ones with the background texture too. Yeah, exactly, like this with like um, chicken wire, chicken fence behind it. Um, yeah, that one has it too. And then these four are pretty much clear with just the flowers. Those are amazing. I've never seen those. Never seen those before. Those are awesome. Now we have, oh, okay. So normally it's, it's cling stamps and the cling stamps are clear and it's not always easy to see. But here we have, we have more cling stamps, but these ones are white, which is very different. So you're gonna, oh, and, and the actual stamp itself is gray. Oh, these are gonna come in so handy. So we've got some stamps. I don't know, I'm checking for glare here. Okay, so we have stamps, stamp, postal stamps, and then you've got flowers and you've got script, which would be nice on the edges um, or like right across something. More stamps, flowers, botanicals, a stick. <laughs> And there's some, some French words, but these are beautiful. These are so nice. Okay, do I have, do I have a page? That one's already pretty busy. I don't want to add a page, something to that. That one, yeah, I've been going through and adding things. That one's too busy already. Maybe here. Or you could actually put it right on. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to try this one. Where's my little stamp block? I'm gonna try that. And instead of the stays on, let's use, let's see if my vintage photo will be dark enough. 
I just want to put a little something on here. Now, this is going to be very, um, it's not going to be a clean stamp because these, uh, this ink is a water, water soluble, but it'll add some interest to the page, to the tag, and there we have. So then it, it looks very vintage, it looks very old. It'll, you know, give something for you to write across. You could do something lighter. I'm not sure if uh, you could do the impression just a little bit lighter so that it's not, not so dark. And it just, it adds a collage effect. So, yeah lots to work with yeah these stamps are really really pretty there's going to be um, lots of use for those the botanical stamps I find you get more use out of them than you know something specific to a certain subject these ones can pretty much go anywhere um, yeah I love these stamps too so those are definitely uh, they're going to get a lot of use. Very pretty. Nice addition to the collection here. And then we have, on top of that, we have botanical specimens. So these are like specimen cards, but they've been made into stickers. And this is on what is known as rice paper. So these are rice paper stickers. So, you know, the, the rice paper is here and then you're going to see, you know, it's clear acetate behind. Now, the nice thing is you could actually use this too and use this as the framework and put something behind it and stick this rice paper down on a page and have something show through just that uh, little open after you've used the stamp somewhere. So don't, don't throw these out if you don't need to because um, you can use these as well. Um, so there's a few here oh and there's that sparrow so remember i i found that sparrow sticker on the end of the washi tape there's a little sticker of them right there too it's too bad he's not somewhere else in this stuff that would be so cool i like him he's unique um so I, you know botanicals and like i said this was rice this is rice paper um and it's sticker it's got an acetate background very, very pretty. Okay, time for the baggie. Let's see what's in the baggie. We kind of know what it is, but we don't know what it is, what it looks like. So, are you ready? Esme, are you ready? <laughs> oh, this is different. Okay, it's already different. Because I don't see a, a typical head. You know, the way we screwed on the other one. Oh, this is, oh my God. These are so cool. So it's, it's like an impression stamp. So you can still do it in wax and I'm getting cat bombed here. Okay, no, you, you, you need to go. This is, this is not for you. <laughs> I'm stuck with a cat. All right. Um, so it, but it's like a daisy or whatever. Can you see that? Yes, kitty. <laughs> That's Sniffles. And she um, tends to think that she needs to be on camera with me. Um, so yeah, it's a very pretty little impression stamp. So you can still do it in wax. Um, I'm sure you could do this with ink as well, but the impression stamp, like doing it in wax would be ideal. That is, it's so pretty though. It's like I've never seen one like that before. And uh, you know, it's the first one I own. So it is very, very special. All right. And I love the fact that they put them in these little, you know, crushed velvet bags. That's so cool. All right. So that is the, where am I at? This is April's box. So we have um two nice batches of washi tape all botanicals and lots of stickers 14 different stickers 
uh, oval stickers, some of them that you can even write on. And quite a, a, a good um, quantity, There's quite a few there. Um, botanical stickers with script that you can, you know, cut apart and put anywhere. And again, there's yards of this. It's amazing. A really nice garden sticker. A bunch of little tags. Uh, there's probably about 50 in here. Just one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can see that there's five sections in here and there's probably 10 sheets of each. So there's like 50 there. So we've got those. Some beautiful, just gorgeous cling stamp stickers that, you know, have a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of places we're going to um, uh, be able to use those. Uh, some acetate, clear acetate um, stickers that will be great for backgrounds, they'll be great for framing. You could use one, cut out a square in the center and use it to frame something. There's all kinds of options with those. Uh, some specimen stickers on rice paper, which are really, really pretty. Um, and of course, and yes, as me, this thing is heavy. <laughs> it's it's solid. It is very solid. Um, a really nice little impression stamp with it looks like you know daisy flower type. Um, lots of petals. So I'll have to uh, I'll have to get some wax melted and try these on on another stream um, so that people can see them. But yeah, that sucker is heavy. So very cool. A very wonderful box. I, I, I like that one and and even as compared to the February one that you know I was ecstatic over after I finished opening it this one was really nice too it has a lot of good quality items um, and it just just the quantity that is available on these is is incredible so definitely worth you know thirty dollars in total and just the surprise of getting it each each and every month is is really nice you know it's not um it's not over expensive overly expensive um because you know you you think about it you you look at some of the the big washi tape brands that are available and and you know a roll of washi tape is six bucks alone you know it's it's not cheap and and these are pretty full so i think this one was a really good box too. I really enjoyed this one. Cora Crea Crafts. Um, as as always, this these are my opinions. I haven't been uh, reimbursed or asked to do these, I, and I'm just enjoying sharing these with you. So I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun, and um, I will make sure I post all the links on my YouTube video once this is uploaded to YouTube. So with that, I will stop the recording and have a little chat. <laughs> 